Hello kids. So Sitaru, we are going to draw today, right? Yes. So we are going to draw something very important today. Can you wake up by yourself in the morning? Oh, who wakes up you in the morning? My mother. Is that so? So your mom is the one who hears the sound tree tree, right? From her phone. Oh, the phone. People are using smartphones as their alarm nowadays, but earlier we used classic type alarm clocks and it is very useful till this day. Uh-huh. Shall we draw it? Okay. Okay. We'll draw this classic type alarm clock and it is very lazy to wake up when it's ringing. You can draw it, right? Yes, I can. Okay, let's start drawing it. Okay. Okay, so we are going to draw the old alarm clock, right? So we'll see how we're going to wake up to this alarm. So first of all, we're going to draw a perfect round shape. It's a perfect round circle. Shall we draw it? Okay. A circle like this. Okay, draw. Mm, oh wow, it's a beautiful circle. You did it very perfectly. And draw another smaller round inside, the first one. Keep a little bit of distance between the two. Slowly like this. And very patiently, you have to do it. Like this. Oh, that is really great. Very beautiful. And then, and we'll draw its stands a slight angle it will control the vibration of the clock when it's ringing and another one from this side as the same cool now on the top it has a little knob and you can press it to stop the ringer like this okay you can press it to stop it okay okay And it has two bells on the top of it, like this. Draw a line like this. And another one from this side. And draw a curved half circle like this. And the other one as well. And the top of this bell a small knob and we can draw some lines like this to show its vibration the next one as well okay and this is the most important part the numbering tell me uh, what numbers we should write here and here 12 and 6 yeah 12 and 6 okay and again here you can draw 3 and uh, yeah go ahead that's correct One, two, three, and four, five, six, and seven, eight, ten, and eleven. Hmm, okay, that's great. So, shall we keep the time now? Okay. Okay, so now what's the time in your one? Five. Oh, no, no, no. It's too early for me. I like to sleep a little bit more. Eight is perfect for me. I had a long day yesterday. Okay. So the time is right. So what happens to this clock when it starts to ring? It makes a sad face to express its pain like this. (laughs) It's a sad face. Like this. And its mouth like this. When the bell rings, we feel very lazy to wake up. But it will help you to wake up earlier. That's good. Okay. And some few addings to it. Like this. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. A clock is crying when it's ringing. Cool. Shall we color it? Sure. Okay, let's go. Okay, done. Yeah, we have drawn a classic clock. So, uh, shall we show it to our friends? Most of the people use their mobile phones to keep the alarm. Not like these days. We used to use these types of alarm clocks in the past hmm. when we were going to school. Okay. Yeah. So, kids, today we taught you how to draw a twin bell classic alarm clock. These are very useful. Okay. If we start to do something at auspicious time, so these did a great job in the past on that purpose also. So, kids, it's time for us to end the program for today. And we'll come up with another beautiful artwork next time. And don't forget, everyone, just like and comment us. From that, we can improve ourselves in the future videos and subscribe too. And from that, you'll get more updates from us and you can keep in touch yes. with us too. Yeah, the small bell, you can press it and you'll get all the notifications and updates every day from us. So guys, see you with another new artwork next time. So till then, good luck to all. Bye. <laughs>